So guys, welcome back to yet another video. In this one today, we are going to be reviewing the 91 rated Bakambu, a player who I have actually really enjoyed over the past few years of FIFA, just because he's always had a pretty OP, you know, non-inform item that's just been really, really cheap and quite effective in game. And now he's finally got a massively boosted item. I'm pretty excited to give it a go because uh, on paper, it does look like an excellent card and it could be a ridiculously useful super sub because he does not cost a lot and off the bench, this guy could certainly have some impact. If you want to improve your ultimate team and need some coins to do so, you should check out my sponsor IG Vault. There's a link to do so in the description. And if you use the code Kieran, you'll get yourself a nice little discount off your order. So let's have a look at this card, shall we? Four star, four star, pretty nice to see on a striker. Obviously, would have preferred a five star weak foot, but it is what it is. Stands at six foot tall and does have the finesse shot trait. His in game stats are actually excellent. He's got a lot that you'd want to see in a premium striker. He's got the pace. He's got some really, really good shooting stats, which we'll discuss more in a moment. He's got nice dribbling, and he's also got ridiculous physicals. So just like based on how he's looking on paper, he could be an excellent card. Hopefully these stats translate really, really nicely in game. Let's go back to the shooting then. Really good finishing and attack positioning, both of 97. And uh, on top of that, he's also got 92 shot power. The composure though of 88 certainly isn't the best for a high rated striker. Definitely would have preferred better composure, but that is what we have been dealt. Once again, it is a shame that no chem style does indeed boost that stat. In regards to his passing, he's got actually pretty nice short passing and okay long passing for a forward. Also, crossing is not that bad at all for a striker. And then we come on to the dribbling, in which he's actually got some really nice stats. Elite agility of 97, very good reactions of 95, and a good in-game dribbling rating of 90. Balance and ball control aren't the best, but they're still pretty damn good. It will be interesting to see how that agility feels in game with him standing at six foot tall. And uh, with that in mind, he's a player who is six foot tall, has 98 jumping and 94 head and accuracy. So hopefully we can get him on the end of some crosses. But um, as I say, just looking at his stats, I'm excited to give this guy a go because potentially he could be great because like, as I say, the stats make him look excellent. So what are we thinking for a chem star? With a basic, he's actually a 96. Six rated striker with a maxman a 97 and uh, yeah I think that's as high as we are going to get him and you know what maxman is not a bad option for this guy at all especially since his pace is already pretty maxed out we get some nice dribbling boost uh, his shooting becomes insane at that point and obviously his physicals get maxed out in a couple of areas as well so I certainly think that's a good option I also don't think engine's a bad option as well if uh, you're bothered about the uh, balance so uh, yeah I think these are the two that you should consider but um, I think for this review we are going to go with Maxman. So in Bakambu's debut he's up against this which let's be honest is not an amazing side for this stage of the game. He's got plenty of blues in there but um, a lot of them are objective based so uh, yeah let's see how we do in this one. Bakambu just ran through the opposition's team and straight off kickoff um, he's got his opening goal. What a way to start. Bit of an AIDS goal but you know what no complaints from me. Kambu, oh wow, I thought we were going to get the lucky bounce, and to be honest, we did, but uh, we just didn't capitalise on it. Nice ball there by Bruno, into Bakambu, who's going to put it back across the box, Bruno gets himself on the score sheet. Well, at the break, sadly, we are 3-2 down, fair play to my opponent, his team probably isn't as good as mine, but um, yeah, he's decent. Kambu, in behind, hits the finesse, oh... Wasn't far away. Balls dove it into that front post. But Kambu with the header. Made it look like he was unchallenged there. And he puts us back in at this game. It's all square at 3-3. Free free. Chance. But Kambu can find the right ball. Oh, we've really overcooked it. But Kambu. Angle's tight. Oh, almost didn't matter. Oh, what a save. Well, there's full time. Unfortunately, we didn't get the win in this game, but I thought we did quite well to come back to uh, 
well, from being 3-1 down. Two goals and a assist for Bakambu. Not a bad debut in at the slightest. In front of goal, he does feel pretty clinical. Um, his dribbling, though, doesn't feel as great as I'd hoped, but um, certainly does have some positives to his game. Let's move on into the next match. Well, we are certainly going to be up against it in this next match. My opponent's got a very good start in 11, and I swear everyone's got Dalgleish now. Everyone. Oh, see you later. What a start. What a start for Bakambu. He loves the kickoff goal. Oh, I, I don't know how we've actually got a penalty there. Okay, potentially one more chance before half time comes around. Bakambu puts it into Bruno, and Bruno scores. And what a way to enter the half time break. To say that goal was against the runner play would be, um, I think it'd be putting it quite nicely. Um, as you can see, we've had 24% possession. Yeah, my opponent's one of them players, though, who will just happily pass around the back. Like, it's not as if, like, the domination isn't as big as it seems. Fair enough, he's having a lot of ball, but um, he is very happy to pass around the back. Interesting. What a chance. Oh, what a save from Neuer. That's a ridiculous save. Sane puts the ball across the box, but Kambu! Oh, he's offside. Oh, no. Interesting. Very interesting. Kambu will get on the end of it. He'll deliver into the box as well. It's a good ball, but sadly, Sane can't get a clean connection. This just sums it up. The 90th minute is happy just to leave the ball. Yeah, cheers, pal. Game ends in a 2-2 draw, which, to be fair, all things considered, the limited amount of possession we had, we did well with, but uh, we just didn't see much of the ball. But Bakambu, once again, involved. Really, really pleased. For context, we had 27% possession in that game. Still created the exact same amount of chances, but um, yeah, we literally had a quarter of the possession. Insane. Let's go then, out in number three, and we are up against a backline of Showdown Zagadu and also Raphael Varane. There's a chance as the ball's put through by Alessandrini into Bakambu, who's got a bunch of space to run into. Ball rolls the goalkeeper. Oh, wow, Courtois. That's unfortunate. Ball's whipped in. Can we make up for it? Yes, we can. Regular front post corner header as this guy. Canberra's going to chase this one down. He is going to get to it, but options in the box are just so limited. Not a bad ball, you know, though. And then Bappe, unfortunately, puts it wide. Nice from Bakambu. Oh, I should... Oh, oh, wow. I was about to say I shouldn't have gone for the pass there. But um, in the end, it's paid off. We got very, very fortunate there. I don't know how his goalkeepers missed that. Interesting. Oh, wow. Well, that's one way to respond. So uh, from being a goal down, we're now 3-1 up. What a 10 round. But Kambu, just right place, right time, twice in a row. Come forward again. Russo on. Ball's whipped in. But Kambu wins the header, and fortunately, that one goes wide. Bruno puts it through. Here's a chance. Can we get a touch on the ball? We can. And he's being wiped out with a pen. And my opponent just quit. <laughs> he just quit. He didn't, we didn't even get a chance to take the penalty. But um, yeah, wow. Bakambu was brilliant in that game, to be honest. Um, we didn't see much of the ball. My opponent was actually decent. And um, yeah, we just got the job done with some quick fire goals. Well, I've only just realised that I didn't have my camera on for the duration of that recording. So apologies, I am here now. But um, it's time to talk about this Bakambu. And as you can see, he's going to get a really good rating from me. I really enjoyed using his card. He was banging in goals for me left, right and centre. Whether it be left foot, right foot, header, like... He's just a goal scorer, and that is something that you just want to have in your club, whether it's a starting player or as a sub. And ultimately, this guy is going to end up being a sub for people, but just because he's not the easiest player to get into teams due to his chemistry links. Obviously, if you've got a bunch of icons, then it will be easy, but I feel like for the most part, people will prefer to use this guy off the bench. And I've got to say, I would not mind getting this guy in my red picks at all, because I do think he's extremely usable, and considering he's a night one overall, considering he's 80k, I think he is very very, very good value. He's got big stats in the right areas for a striker for a FIFA 21 Ultimate Team. So let's let's ring off the positives. What's great about this card? First of all, the pace. He's quick. That's obviously a key part of Ultimate Team. Secondly, positioning. Very, very good. Just pops up in the right areas, makes good runs, and that makes it very easy to use him. And then when you do get this guy in front of goal, he certainly does have a very good finishing ability, whether it be with shot power, whether it be a finesse shot, and like I've already touched on, he can go off either foot as 
as well. Left foot definitely isn't as reliable as the right, but he can still tuck the ball in the back of the net with it if need be. In regards to his passing, I thought his short passing game was very good, and also his crossing actually seemed quite decent to me. Through balls are a bit average, but he's a striker at the end of the day. That's not too much of an issue. Now, in regards to my rating, as you can see, I've just put him just outside of outstanding. The one thing that just keeps him outside of that bracket for me is the dribbling. Now, he's got some very, very good dribbling stats, but his overall dribbling, I just didn't feel was all that complete. He just didn't feel as fluid, as mobile as some other top, top tier forwards. But aside from that, the dribbling is still very good. It's still very usable. And aside from that little detail, he's an excellent card. He really, really is. And that brings us on to the physicals. Stamina, brilliant, lasted full 90 minutes with ease. In terms of jumping and heading, excellent. He literally won like every aerial battle. From corners, he was a threat. And from goal kicks, it was easy to punt it to him and claim the ball. And just in general, if you need someone to hoof the ball up the field to, this could be your guy. He stands at six foot tall and he leaps pretty freaking high. His strength and aggression in game also makes him a bit of a nightmare to handle as well. Certainly can hold up play and there will hold off defenders and he'll have great success against fullbacks as well. Obviously top tier centre backs are going to be able to match his strength but their full, full back sorry, um, won't be able to do as much. So um, yeah, all in all I think this card's excellent, I really really do. Aside from that minor issue with the dribbling, I think it's a really really good card and considering his price, he's just worth picking up and trying out. Give him a go and uh, who knows, you might find yourself um, enjoying him because uh, as I say he was a fun card. and. Yeah, he just scores goals, and ultimately that's what you want with a forward, so I'm really pleased with the performance of this item. So uh, that is my review of the Kambu. If you have enjoyed the video, please do leave a like rating on it in the comments below. Let me know your thoughts on the item. Subscribe to the channel if you are new around here. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.